today we are checking out loop masters loop cloud drum trap tendo what is going on people's dj Av here and today like i was saying at the beginning of the video uh, loop masters has a new offering when it comes to their streaming or sample service it is called loop cloud drum i've checked out loop cloud in the past i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard about it but you might want to hear my hot take on it and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to give you my pros and cons and how loop masters could fix this if there is something wrong with it because you know i really like to talk about technology and you know they reached out to me and they wanted my opinion so i'm going to give it to you honestly <laughs> you already know the vibes with me but other than that though uh, let's check it out. Link will be in the description box. Again, it works in all DAWs and it works on all OSs, but Windows and Mac. So check it out. Let's begin. So if you haven't opened Loop Cloud in a while or you're installing Loop Cloud for the first time, well, I have a link in the description box to my first Loop Cloud video. So you can check that out and it will have some instructions on how to use Loop Cloud if you're a first time user, as well as how to install VST plugins in like FL Studio or MPCB software, which is a very common question that I get in the comment section. So you need to update it just in case if you haven't opened up Loop Cloud in a while, use these three lines right here and click on it. And then you'll go to show all favorites, check for updates, basically. So go to check for updates, click on that, follow the directions on the screen. I promise you it's not a hard process here. Uh, so speaking of which, I'm gonna use the MPC Beat software as an example. Again, it works in all DAWs, so it doesn't matter which DAW that you use or which OS, just use the one that you like the most. I like this the most because of all the options and things I wanna test out. So now uh, this is the Loop Cloud UI or Loop Cloud Drum that is. And yeah, you see right here, you already know the vibes. And I was testing it out earlier on the pads and stuff like that, which you won't see here. Ooh, well, <laughs> I need practice. So other than that though, it maps out pretty well. You know, this is what I expected. Hmm. Yeah, so first impressions, uh, it just landed on drum and bass and I've been on that type of vibe lately and you know, that's one of the things I really like, but yeah, that checks out so far. Uh, I'm gonna do a MPC test. So I'm in the MPC software now. Uh, I have my MPC link to the MPC software. And you'll notice that it's linked pretty perfectly, but honestly it's not. Now, the one thing I wanna show you if you are gonna use this with the MPCB software or whatnot, it will be pulled up as a plugin. So you will have to go into your pad performance and set it to chromatic and C major. Uh, you might have to go up an octave like to octave one and then from A, from your pad bank A, you'll be able to use it like it's supposed to be used. And let me go ahead into the software real quick so I can pull it up so you can see it in action. So let's go over here, just pulls up the UI and everything is working fine. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make some type of quick beat with it. Let's 
slate. Let's put that in there. I'm going to use note repeat this time. All right, overdub and play start. All right, so I found my Court Triton VST plugin I, that I don't use enough, and I'm using it in this beat. So let's go ahead and lay out these keys here. So let's take a deep dive into the Loop Cloud drum features. So I'm looking at it right now and a couple of things that I want to look at is like the kick here that I just dropped. Uh, you can tune your drums, of course. So if you really wanted uh, that type of vibe to your drums, well, you can get that and affect the snare. You would just have to highlight the actual parameter that you want to choose to adjust. Let's keep it like that. Yeah, so you got that. Uh, you also have a mixer too, you know, and then you can apply uh, certain effects here. Uh, let's see here, let's put a delay on the kick. It's gonna sound weird though. Uh, you can have it in Hertz mode or whatnot and control it or fine tune it. You can adjust the amount. I'm gonna go back into sync mode though. Makes more sense. Feedback. So yeah, you can see what this is really about. You know, and you also can uh, put some reverb on whatever you want. So I, the snare actually has reverb on it, I believe. So let's do this between different algorithms. And that's specifically routed to uh, a certain drum pad or rather they're universal so you got to be mindful you can hear that it was affecting the synth sound so i just have to turn it off yeah bit crushing too and pan so you can pan stuff left and right if i want to put let's just go ahead and put the snare all the way to the right so yeah you you have other things too like drive filter and unlimiters so let's go back into the pads here. Uh, what I want to do is test out the random feature. Let's go ahead and just roll. I think it's only to whatever you have available. So you would have to download certain packs. So we got dubstep drums here. View the pad here. And so forth so you know once you roll you can keep on rolling and it, it just maps pretty well too so yeah you can uh, just keep on rolling so once you're done with all that and you pick out something or purchase something uh, from the store uh, using your points uh, you could just go back and just exit out just load it up got some garage drums here for some uh, UK garage, that's cool. But yeah, I'm just looking at all the stuff that I have available. I'm uh, pretty sure it might be different for everybody else. Uh, even though I'm in the MPCB software, or it doesn't matter for you either if you're in a DAW, I do wanna point out that it does have a sequencer inside of here. So uh, how you would engage the sequencer is you would press C5 on your keyboard or whatever you have access to and it'll play a sequence. And you can stop it with any other key here. Uh, let me see if I could do this with C5 right here, and you can see it. Uh, no.
But how the sequencer works is pretty much like every other step sequencer. It's 16 steps. So you have four on the floor here. So any area right here, let me go ahead and engage the sequencer real quick. I can add velocity in here. Uh, you can click on the pad and then add steps inside of here. Like if I wanna add a lot of hats right here. And the sequencer right here is set to different steps here. You can see all the steps that you have here, so. So you can switch to different patterns and stuff like that. Like say if I had A and I wanted A right here and I extended it, it'd be right there. You feel me? So that's A and I can change it up for B and so forth. And then exit out and then I can go through my different patterns and stuff like that. You also have swing too. Timing, nudge. You can clear. You can randomize too as well. Let's do a roll. You can add uh, different rolls in here. Let's go ahead and hear that. Go to sna uh, snare. get four rolls here and you can even copy or clear I almost forgot about one cool feature and that is the sample randomizer so if you double tap on a pad you can pull up the sample randomizer uh, keep in mind though you have to be a subscriber to use it and since I don't have a full subscription to it uh, I'm just trying it out I can't try it out good job loop cloud good job but anyways, yeah, that's one feature that I wanted to talk about. And last but not least, I think it's important you guys know you, you don't need to use their sounds. Uh, you can use your own sounds. You can link your library to uh, Loop Cloud. So yeah, it has its purpose, even outside of you buying this packs. So tell me how you feel about this video. Are you going to check out Loop Cloud Drum? Is it up to snuff to you? Uh, I'm definitely going to weigh in with my pros and cons now. So. Let's start with the pro. So the first thing that I checked out because it had the four x four layout like the MPC. Well, most definitely to see if it actually mapped to the pads correctly. And yes, it passed that test and I'm very happy that it did. I think my only real con for this would probably be that, you know, I don't know. It wouldn't necessarily be at Loop Cloud Drum, but just Loop Cloud altogether. I would like to see uh, more sample based companies that make Sample samples like chopping up samples. Do I, do I, do I give this the stamp of approval? Well, it is free, so it won't hurt you to check it out and get free samples. So 